Welcome back, Tony is here. Today we're flying from Abilene to Dallas-Fort Worth Airport in Texas. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air, dual propeller. I've set a flight level of 8,000 feet, and let's go ahead and get started. Parking brake off. Been having a little bit of trouble with the pedals and controlling the plane on the ground, but let's see. A little on the twitchy side, it feels like. And I'm trying to watch the thrust because I tend to over thrust it. Engine enunciators start blinking. So far it looks okay. This feels stable and secure. Alright, so we can start lifting off. gear up. Flaps up. KH-323, continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Abilene Tower, KH-323, continue for east departure. Alright, and so we're going to make our turn into the proper flight heading. at the same time, which is good. Alright, and then I'll need to go past the center line and then Bring those line segments together and turn back three, into it. You are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Okay, so I'm gonna stop turning. Abilene Just tower KH323 frequency change. Still climbing. Abilene approach KH323 is type Beechcraft King Air one mile southeast of 82 Tango Sierra. Request flight following. KH323 Abilene approach. Squawk 0741. Squawk 0741 KH323. KH323 radar contact, two miles south of Tango X ray 00 4900 feet. Altimeter 30 decimal 49er. Okay, so this will put Copy us on KH323. Alright, so I should be able to turn over to the autopilot. I should have navigation on already. Yes. Gauge autopilot. And turn on the yaw dampening. That'll keep a nice smooth straight flight going. Alright, and then also I'm going to tell it about our desired flight level which is 8,000. We're almost there. Check the barometer. I've noticed the barometric pressure changing a lot throughout this whole region, so I've been che checking it a lot. Not sure why it locked up for a moment, but it sure did. Actually, I think I know what happened. I think the uh, 360 controller, when it powered off, for some reason the game 
pauses when it loses contact over Bluetooth. I'm pretty sure, and if I turn it back on, the same thing's going to happen. It'll lock up like that. Alright, so we've got into altitude hold mode. Right there. Alright, but I do need to turn the controller back on because I want to go look outside. So let's see if that causes the game to lock up. Alright, that seems to be okay. Yeah, it's working alright. Just take a quick peek inside. Nobody in the back, unfortunately. It'd be nice to have some passengers along. Alright, let's go outside. I have big, giant, flat space. We're leveling off, so I'm going to pull back on the thrust. I see us heading up towards max speed. Looks like the sun will probably go down during this flight. This is my third or fourth flight with the 350i, so I'm still getting used to it. Seems to kind of get in the hang of flying it. Landing is still a little dicey. Realism of the graphics is really one of my favorite things. Much to see in here. We're holding at 8,000. We've got a while to go. Um, we're much higher than we need to be to get to the airport. So at some point I'll begin descending, especially if I see something interesting on the ground. Here it just looks to be a lot of flatness. Not, not much really to look at. Um, it's a lot quieter here in the cabin. That's kind of nice. This is kind of the time I like to start playing with the controls, you know, ones that are not going to interfere with the plane. Like here, you can check voltage of various things. Not sure exactly what 
not tell me what, in what situations. Anyway. Instrument, emergency lights on, oh, this inoperative, okay. And then all this stuff's kind of interesting. Let's see, can I... How do I get to it? Anyway, it looks like it's uh, windshield... Oops, oh, didn't mean to turn those on. Shoot. <laughs> Now they're stuck in the middle of the window. That's alright. It's a, a unique look, I suppose. Let's see. Um, is that where there's to park? That's what I want. There we go. Alright. You have to be careful zooming in because you're also using the wheel to turn things, and I often will accidentally switch something and not even know what I've switched. And I'm starting to get dark. The uh, flood zone might be nice. They read any of that stuff. I guess maybe if I go down and look up or something, I don't know. I can't really go any further forward. I can only go up. I'd like to learn more about the yaw dampening. I get a yellow warning when I turn autopilot on and I haven't used jaw dampening. And I assume that means that it keeps us going perfectly straightforward. Oops. I just dropped the controller. Looks like it switched to the default view, which I'd like to know how to do that. Alright. Uh, we're still in autopilot. Um, let's see here. It's engaged. Navigation's engaged. I turn the flight director on. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I think it's there behind the yellow. Be the magenta arrows. Yep, there it is. I'd like to know what FMS means. And apparently this is a touch screen, so I have to be careful what I touch. I should be able to try some things that are split. Okay. Audio. And transponder. Um, at one point I changed navigation from GPS to VOR and then things got screwed up, so I'm trying to be careful not to do that this time. Don't remember exactly how I did that, though. Alright, well I guess that's enough for the controls for now. Um, if these get too bright when it's dark, I can turn those down. I'm going to hit B for the barometric pressure. It actually changed a little bit, so it's going to adjust altitude. I'd like to drop us down gradually, so let's go down to 7,000. Alright. Pull off the throttle a little bit, and it will descend for us. looking really pretty outside.
you want some beautiful views of the plane and the sun, the sunset. Should get really nice when it gets done. Body of water up here. So that might be worth exploring. First of all, let's reset the view. Go to the drone. And then we're going to want to speed it up. And so let's head over there. So I can hit insert and check on the plane, check on the instruments. We could afford to go a little bit faster. So get a little bit more thrust. Try the center detent on the th throttle stick. See what that does. I'll come back and check that in a moment. Continue head over towards this water body. There's a plane going by up there. American 275, 8FT, worth center. Continue as planned. Thinking maybe I should turn tags on because it drives me nuts sometimes not being able to tell what the planes are, whether it's a player or, you know, AI or reconstructed wheel traffic. Just to know. Okay, I'm going to go check on the engines. FT, worth center, KH3, 23, 7,000 feet. I'll just a little bit back, try to stop it from advancing, and I think we're good. And we've got a while to go, so we can continue trying to check out this water body over here. American 1441 FD, DFW is a very, very busy airport, so I'm not surprised we're hearing all this traffic. Sportsman's World, that sounds like a store. Interesting. Maybe it's an airplane store. That's a possibility, I guess. Uh, would like to catch reflections in the water if possible. That's always kind of pretty looking. Interesting how this snakes around. FT Work Center American 2758 is out of flight level 290 feet. I kind of wonder if that's realistic or American the game has a tendency FD sometimes to flood areas land. that aren't flooded, although I do see what is, is called an island here, and apparently there's an airport. I'm kind of surprised by that, actually. Let's see. Oh, it's, well, airport, right, it's a landing, it's a piece of dirt, but you could probably land something there. Let's go check on the plane. We're still going up a little bit in speed. I'm going to just pull it back a notch. Behind us, you can see what the sunset looks like. That's pretty. Alright, let's go back to the drone. The plane is dragging us along. Wow, this looks really interesting. It's like something out of a documentary. Going to 120 Our forward movement is fighting against the plane, pulling us back. Um, all right, well, so apparently this is all real. It's not flooded by the game because there's an island here with a supposed airport. <laughs> uh, let's see the airport. Yeah, that looks like an airport. Okay. Actually, I love the lens flare and the reflect. Ooh, the reflection of the sun and the water. That is so beautiful. The drone is smart enough not to go underwater, which is kind of nice. I 
Alright, maybe I'm being a little paranoid, but I'm gonna go back and check on the plane because I've played around like this before and then suddenly I hear landing gear, landing gear, and I'm wondering how can I be so low to the ground and I was nose diving or something, so. One thing to do in that situation is just grab the autopilot, or grab the co pilot, and have him take over. That's what I did. And then took the panic out of the situation because he knew what to do to get it back under control. So, semi pro tip, I guess. Again, this is just really pretty. Kind of surprised how beautiful this is. I guess more islands or a little peninsula or something. Hmm. All right, we can go back to the plane. Southwest five one zero contact FD work center on one two seven. Because I would like to see what the sunset looks like. I feel like there's some kind of really magical shot. I just hit it. Which is totally amazing. I just don't know exactly what that would be. Maybe reflecting off the windows or something. I don't know. Something that would look magical. Maybe the sun rays coming off the tip of the rear wing. So we're at 7,000. I'm going to drop another 2,000 feet. Do need to be a lot lower than this soon. Uh, the displays are looking a little on the bright side, so if I can remember... Approach KH3 237,000. It's kind of hard to tell. I think it did. Not meant to do that. I don't remember how to turn that off. Oh well. Anyway, so let's set altitude down to five thousand. Flight level change. Nav is still on, autopilot is still on, pull back on the thrust, and we'll start dropping. This is the thing I clicked the other day that caused autopilot to go nuts because it changed the navigation type. There we go, okay. That's how I fixed it last time, changed it to something that toggles. I really don't know how to use the G3000 or whatever this unit is. I should probably uh, read the manual. Getting a really pretty red sky. Let's go out and look, look outside. First of all, reset the view. It uh, looks like we're descending steadily. That's good. 
Let's go check out the redness of the sky. so realistic with the disc getting kind of broken up
think that's it. The sun is down. Kind of wobbling up a little bit optically, but it's over the horizon. Let me reset the view here. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the airport. I need to drop an altitude some more. Let's go back inside. So we're going to want to be at, I don't know, 2,500 feet or something to enter the landing pattern. So, first of all, I'm going to dethrust a little bit, slow us down. KH3, 2-3 contact, maybe FP worth approach on one two eight decimal seven seven five. And let's drop us down to, let's one two eight decimal seven seven five KH3, 2-3. Navy FT worth approach KH three two three five thousand feet. KH three two three Navy FT worth approach. Adjustment. Continue as planned. Altimeter three zero decimal four two. There's another airplane over here. Can't, can't really tell who or what. It's probably on my screen here if I scroll out. Alright, I'm going to take over from autopilot. Getting a little off course, let me uh, correct for that. Won't be long before the co-pilot communicates with the tower and the landing pattern shows up on the, sc on the screen for us to use. Where's that RA number again? I don't know what that is. I have a feeling it's related to ILS or something. Uh, not really sure. Maybe it has something to do with an altitude above ground or something. I don't know. That might actually be it. Alright, I feel like slowing down a little bit, and landing gear does sound like a good idea. Notice the wheel was uh, red, that little wheel control for it was red when the warning came on. KH3, 2-3 contact approach on 135.9 or 7. Okay, I'm probably going to want to be a little higher than this to uh, going to 135.9 or 7. Enter the pattern, KH3, we can do that. By Approach KH three two three two thousand feet. Bring up, bring down the flaps. That'll get us an altitude. Ooh, we've got to push the stick plan. hard to keep us from going too high. It's going to need some bunch more thrust. Okay, there we go. All right, so we should be climbing a bit here and slowing down. A little bit more thrust needed. Speed's good. It's a little on the low side, though. Um, I'm gonna reduce my ascent rate. That'll speed us up. We're probably at a close enough altitude for landing. Uh, I do need to turn towards the airport a little bit more. Seems to 
be a nice clear visible night, probably a full moon. If the moon's up. I think our altitude's good, our speed seems to be good. Engine seems to be happy. The wind is calm, so I think I think we're okay. We're still a ways off from contacting the tower. Which will happen about ten out, ten nautical miles out. Right, we're still tending to climb, so let me level off a bit here. I'd like to keep it around 2,000 above where it says the airport is, so 25, 2,600. Assuming that's where the opening of the landing pattern is going to be. This is a pretty quiet airplane compared to some others. It seems pretty quiet on the inside. It would be nice to go outside and look around, but I've really got to focus on landing and doing so inside the airplane. Um, I do plan to do a Dallas area fly around though. I visited Dallas a few times so it'd be fun to fly around and check it out in the simulator. the flaps a little on the early side. I was concerned about going too fast. Um, on the other hand, you know, maybe that's not such a bad thing. So, yeah, I'm going slow over all these residential areas, or whatever they are. Alright, so I was just trying to keep things steady. We're getting a little bit of wind as we get close to the ground. steady, but it seems to be a good enough job. I'm seeing a couple of planes. One of them seems to be in my flight path. So I'm really not sure where the landing pattern opening is going to be. We're going to find out soon. I'll probably have to make a kind of sharpish turn one way or the other. I, don't, I think this airport doesn't have any really convenient runways for making a nice straight-in approach, so I'm going to have to turn some amount. I feel like I probably ought to climb just a little bit.
have just a little bit more thrust for safety's sake, get a little bit of altitude. Approach KH-323. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Alright, so we're cleared into the airspace, and then soon he should be asking for landing clearance. Now, if they say we're not clear, I guess we turn and go the other direction. was on the flight plan. I don't know why it wasn't. Fly left base runway one tree right KH three two three. It wasn't automatic, but that's okay. We found a way. All right, so there's the pattern entry. Speed looks good. Altitude looks good. So let me get over there. We'll have to do a series of turns. See how after lots and lots and lots of hours of flying, it would become natural to make this a smooth flight. For me, I'm having to think about every move, every adjustment as it's bobbing around. So that'll just come through time, I guess. I feel like we could afford to slow down, but we're going to make some turns that'll burn off some of that speed, so but I am going to pull back just a little bit underneath the detent on the throttle. Alright, we can begin turning in the direction of that mouth opening, I think. Uh, uh, maybe not. Maybe we need to go a little bit further out to get in there. like a really pretty night, all the lights. I believe it is five, just about, let's see, just, you know, just about 5 p.m. Daylight savings time is over. start turning when I think I'm kind of in an arc to that mouth opening. It's a little hard to tell. And it's difficult to keep this nice and steady. Speed is good. Our 
Okay, I can probably start turning into this now. start heading in that direction. due to dropping in altitude. Right, I'm going to head towards the mouth opening now. throttle some more. Focus on making a nice smooth turn here. Watch the airspeed. Make sure it doesn't go too low if I burn off some of it as I go through the turn. It's kind of a sharp turn. Let's just go ahead and lean into it. Wow, the sky is red and very pretty. I don't know if this is the last turn we have to make. It looks like we might have another one. So that's good. Okay, so I'm going to have time to continue dialing in the speed we want as we keep the nose down and keep the speed from getting too low. The sky looks really pretty. I thought it might be a nice clear night. I think it's been a full moon recently, so it's probably kind of helping with that. Okay, we're getting closer. I'm going to drop in altitude a little quicker, so I'm going to drop throttle a little bit more. And then we'll go into this turn. I think this may be our last turn. A little more to drop on the throttle. I feel like the drop in altitude is going to give us some speed that we need, so we don't need as much thrust. Alright, trying to get in here with is getting too crazy. This is the point where it starts to feel a little under out of control. But let's nose down. Let's drop throttle. Not all the way down yet. Try to head for that runway. Keeping an eye on the airspeed. As 
long as it's in that white line, we're okay because we've got the flaps down. So I just don't want to hit the ground too early. The Garmin will help tell us where we are, where we're at. Okay, here we are. And so then the question is, how long can I? Okay, drop that all the way down. How long can I stay afloat? Whoa. All right, not very long. So that's not a great landing. I don't think this, there was any damage. Um, I'm not sure why I wasn't able to float, but I think at the last minute the uh, plane kind of lurched one direction, and so I wanted to drop a little bit to center it, and that kind of forced us to have to land. Alright, so maybe I can t exit right here. Looks like it. Alright, so I'm still getting the hang of the plane. It's feeling a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I wish I was doing a better job on landings, but that's what all the practice is for. That's probably the, the most difficult part of flying is the landing. Taking off is not a problem. Flying is a piece of cake. But landing takes real precision. All right, so let's contact the tower. DFW ground, ask for taxi to parking. DFW ground, KH323 taxi to parking. KH323 taxi to general aviation parking by taxiway Alpha to Alpha Bravo Whiskey Mike Charlie Zulu. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can turn Taxiing down. Taxiing to General oh, Aviation okay. Parking via Taxiway Alpha see. to Alpha Bravo Whiskey Mike Charlie Zulu KH323. I wanna turn down the flood brightness. Okay, well, it's not working. Alright. Because it's a little hard to see out there. Let's go outside and see. There's, there's the pattern. Alright. Seriously, though, I really do need to turn off. Is there a way to turn a flashlight on? Oh. Well, there's an L to turn all the lights on or off. Does that do everything? Okay. Well, that's... Wait, we shouldn't be going. Uh, okay. I should have put the parking brake on. Let me go back outside, get reoriented. Okay, there's... There are the arrows. Alright, so I just need to go over towards the right. These avionics are very bright. Only I could see that panel up there, I could actually make some adjustments. <laughs> okay, so it's probably safer to do this outside. Well, of course, I can't see the airplane, but I can see everything else. I feel like we don't even have any kind of lights on at all. Let's see. Stop, hit L again. There we go. Huh. I had no idea that that turned on or off 100% of the lights. But, you know, seriously though, how do I turn down the brightness? Now I can see these panels, so pilot displays need to be turned down. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm using the mouse wheel in the wrong direction. Alright, so they're nice and dim now. And now I want the overhead flood to be off also. So that would be... Uh, that. And instrument interact, co-pilot flood. Reset the view. In fact, I'm going to pull back on it and pop my head up a little bit. Okay, we're good to go. Still really loving the plane. It's nice and fast. It's controllable. It's a little, little uh, twitchy, but I can do something to adjust these pedals. Uh, it, the pedal adjustment worked great with the two Cessnas I was flying, but on this one, it's just a little too twitchy. I'm going way too fast for taxi. So let's slow this down.
I think it'd be embarrassing as a pilot to be seen on the tarmac serpentining because you can't control the plane. But, you know, I've got less than 50 hours in, so what can I say? Going for my 50 hour achievement. Okay, we're going really fast again. In fact, I better put the flaps up or we're going to take off again. Alright, looks like we're finally turning up here. Gonna, you know, don't have the throttle up, it's all the way at the bottom, it's just idling, but it's pulling us along, and so I'll just keep hitting the brakes to slow us down as needed. We'll probably just use the left brake here to steer and slow down. can't see anything about the airport. Uh, there ought to be a lot more planes coming in and going out. I don't know how the game decides how much traffic. I mean, I've got everything dialed up, but I don't know, I don't know how the game ultimately decides. Okay, we're going too fast. Let's slow it down. Looks really cool though, being out here with all the blue lights on the ground and everything. And then I see some kind of an aircraft over here on the right. I don't know if it's landing, taking off, what it's doing. Okay, we're going too fast. The tower will contact us though if we need to stop and let them go by. Right there. Oh no, they're, they're airborne, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Come on. rudder that time, no brake pivoting. Well, I think I'll use brake pivoting on this one. It's tricky because you have to do kind of two opposite moves at the same time. In other words, push hard with your right foot, but then push down hard with your left at the same time. It was a little tricky at first. We're going way I think I will turn on name tags on the planes, at least for the next flight. It's nice to see, you know, who's who, what's what. Wow, we're going really, really fast, like we're taking off. These engines really just want to take off, they're idling, but they just want to get off the ground. I wonder what happens if I turned one off for taxiing. That might be kind of interesting to try. going way too fast. We shouldn't be going 60 knots, we're supposed to be going 20. We still haven't even slowed down to 20. 20 seems very slow. <laughs> this taxiing is taking forever, but this is a very big airport, so, you know, makes sense. Here we go. Speeding up again. You know, there's probably something I could do with like the propeller pitch or something that would 
calm them down a bit, but I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, let's see. Somewhere there, there is a prompt control. But I can't, I can't see where it is. Oh well. <coughs> My thinking, though, is uh, change the pitch on the props and then just reduce the maximum thrust possible so it can't go so fast on the tarmac. This is taking a long time. I think the plane is as impatient as I am. supposed to be going 20 or less. Okay, looks like we finally got a turn coming here, finally. We're going to cross our runway. I'm guessing we're being, being sent off to general aviation parking. giant jumbo jet there and some gates and things. I guess we'll go past those. The sky is getting more and more dark red towards black. It's probably only 515 there. But with the change to daylight standard time, or I'm sorry, you know, standard time, not daylight time, it's going to be darker at that time. Too fast, I'm not paying attention. And just steering instead of actually slowing down. And I kind of wonder sometimes if I'm too easily distracted to be a real pilot. But uh, I think it'd be fun to be a real pilot. <laughs> but this is cheaper, easier, uh, much safer, etc. the moon for a moment, but there's one over here too, so it's probably a street light. <coughs> Alright, and turn everything off here. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Beautiful this is.